All right, now let's take a look at what supported bindings are available for Azure Functions. There's quite a few here, and we'll quickly go through them just so you have a, a scope of ideas. So we have Blob Storage, Azure Cosmos DB, um, or Cosmo DB, I always wanna add that S in there, Azure SQL, Dapper, which is um, a, a runtime, we covered in the course, it's a runtime for distributed applications for microservices, Event Grid, Event Hub, uh, HTTP webhook, that's going to be the most common one you'll use, IoT Hub, Kafka, Mobile Apps, Notification Hub, that's for push notifications, queue, storage, messaging, RabbitMQ, that is an open source um, queuing system, SendGrid, which is for sending emails, Service Bus, which is both queuing and PubSub, Signal R, which we don't really talk about much in this course, but it's an open source.NET library to send asynchronous notifications to client-side web applications, table storage, timer, uh, Twilio, all right? And so what's also important to note, and sorry I could not make this graphic better, I really, really did try to present this better, but it's just there's so many here. But um, the idea is that some don't support triggers, so like Azure SQL does not support triggers, mobile apps notifications don't, table storage in Twilio does not. Then you can see we have a big gap of inputs for a bunch here and a bunch there. It's not super important to know for the exam, but the fact that that you don't get triggers, inputs, and outputs across all services. And there are some cases where the API version matters. So like if you are using version one, some things are not gonna be supported. And in even some cases, version two, like mobile apps and notifications don't have, um, uh, don't have support. So in some cases you do have to use uh, version one functions but most cases you'll be using version four. So hopefully that gives you kind of a broad idea of supported bindings, but we're not done with bindings. We'll be looking at more of it, okay?